side of the road here. Uh, Antonov has just passed overhead. We are just outside of Kermuk town. There's been bombing in this area throughout the week. Uh, and an Antonov jet just flew overhead. consider myself a conflict photographer, but I make the important distinction that I'm not necessarily a combat photographer. What ultimately motivates me and what defines the work that I do is exploring the conflicts behind combat. I get really close to people. We have an exchange. Sometimes it's weeks, sometimes it's months, sometimes it's minutes. But we have an exchange, and then I say, let me represent you. One of the pictures that I took was of a woman who is laying on a operating table in a very remote field hospital. And she had just had bullets extracted from her chest. And she was laying on the table and she had her, she had her shirt removed, so she's bare chested. There was an anesthetic and, and so this guy had just been rummaging around in these wounds. The look in her face to me was really the the desperation, the damaging impact of, of war. It's not dramatic in a way. It's quiet and it's not part of a story of frontline explosions. It's not that type of picture. It's the type of picture of the way that war just continues to eat away at societies. We have a very strong gun culture in the States, of course. And wherever you have people living in environments that they perceive to be hostile, real or imagined, you have a universal appreciation and almost obsession with guns and individual methods of providing security. There was something very interesting about those two type of social trends that I saw in one of the most developed countries in the world and one of the newest and most underdeveloped countries in the world. We categorize things in our minds as big issues. Gun control, abortion, war, poverty, all these things. And we lose sight of the fact that all of these sociological phenomena are comprised of individual people who are all having their own individual type of experience. I try to offer as much of myself to the people that I photograph as I can. I'm making something that involves them, and I think I owe it to them to share something personal of myself, because having your photograph taken is really personal. And if you can start looking at that, yeah, it gets a lot more complicated, but it gets a lot more human. My name is Pete Muller, and this is Conflict.